Okay. This is a short little quick video. Um, I got, uh, I was in a building the other day and the power went out. And I was on the third floor. And I was three minutes away from stepping into the elevator when the power went out. And the person who, the doctor office I was visiting had said that um, the power, you know, goes out fairly often in that building. It's an older building. And that there is no generator backup for the building. So when you're in the elevator, you're <laughs> trapped in the elevator until the power company comes. And later that doctor had sent me a text and said that it was... Uh, a minimum of three hours before the power company came um, to restore the power to the building. So um, I just double checked my everyday carry backpack to see, like, if I was stuck in an elevator, you know, what what would I want for three hours? So I kind of redid my backpack a little bit. This is my day pack, um, which I almost always have with me. And it just has a basic fleece blanket that is attached. Um, and I picked this backpack up, I think at Walmart, but it was, I did not pay very much for this backpack and it has served me well. It, this is the brand. Um, but I, I probably got it someplace like Walmart if it was Walmart, you know, Myers or something. I live in Ohio, so these are the stores that are cheap and open 24 hours a day and I'm sure that's where I picked up this but um but I've had it a long time so I don't really remember but there's you know places to store stuff um there's a zippy place here and a couple of zippy places here and water bottle place here and zippy places here and it has padded straps and uh little hanger that or you know handhold thing so I all, almost always have uh, a fleece blanket or a shawl throw or something attached to the backpack um, and then water bottle uh, for one side and then uh, a different kind of water bottle on the other side and you can use any water bottle this is just happens to be what I what I had today um, a roll of toilet paper and I put it into a Ziploc bag and I put almost everything in Ziploc bags just in case water leaks because that sucks. Here is um, garbage bags. This is a big lot bag that I saved and folded up. This is a way to stay warm in case, the, you know, if, if I need to be warm for some reason. Picked this up on the internet on Amazon. Um, that's nice. This is just a little mini pair of scissors. Probably got these at the dollar store. Uh, there's a Dollar Tree here in Columbus, Ohio, and they get a lot of my business. <laughs> um, got this at Mark's, which is another El Cheapo store. It's a headlamp. I think this one came in a three-pack, but I think I lost the other two maybe down in Costa Rica. I'm not quite sure what happened to the other two. But, um, I put... Just a, just a carabiner on here, so if I need to use it as like a hanging night light, which I've done more than once, and like camping or whatever, um, to leave it on. Um, and it's just a headlamp. You can get these probably on the internet even cheaper than what I got this, but this was a, a came in a three pack, and this is the only one I can find right now. Carry some extra batteries for this, um, and this I have a. a cell phone and I meant to put I have a little battery pack I meant to put it here but I'm using it right now I'm charging it but um little cord for my phone and this end goes into the little battery pack that goes to the phone um these are just some snacks and I carry snacks that are open and eat like you know you don't have to do anything to them so here's a cliff bar a mini kind bar and the minis are great because uh, they're just the right size this one um, is peanut butter dark chocolate which I recommend that flavor uh, these are 
cashews, um, you know, and again, they're just open and eat, the easy stuff. Some salt and pepper, usually I have packets of Mrs. Dash, which you can order on Amazon, um, but I've used them all and my, my stash has run out and I've ordered more, they should be coming. Uh, this is a straw and just some, some knives and fork packets that I, you know, just throw in the back of the pack and I've used them more than once. These are just little mini paper plates, um, tea towel, hairbrush, some toothpaste, toothbrush, um, Clorox on the go wipes and I put them in a Ziploc bag because um, these have leaked before but not because of anything that the company did with their packaging. It was literally how I handled their product. So um, their product is actually well packaged. It, uh, it failed my handling. So uh, I keep the Clorox wipes in a Ziploc bag. Um, oh yes I did. Here's, here's the little uh, battery chargers that should be over here um, that I was talking about. These are um, what you can use and if you are chopped someplace and you don't have uh, a way to use your phone or um, your phone is low on battery. These are these are really great. Um, and you can check the batteries. And if you these came from a store called Five and Below. Uh, and these these fold out. You can plug in your uh, your phone to charge into a wall if you have access to that. And these are of course uh, headphone, and they fold up. These are just some more snacks, but you can get better for you snacks. But I just happen to like Doritos, so those are the snacks that I have. So anyway. Um, this is what I recommend if you're in an urban type setting um, for being off the grid for a short period of time what you might need. I recommend toilet paper, I recommend a garbage bag, I recommend some snacks, and I recommend a way to light. Oh, and I forgot to mention this is a snap light. Um, you get these on the internet in 10 packs and I use these a lot when we camp or travel uh, outside of the country or even up to Maine. We were in Maine once and it is dark in Maine. Well, we were in Maine more than once, but dark in Maine because there's like no street lights in the parts that we were in. But you just snap, there's a tube inside of here and when you, and then the outside of here is plastic and when you bend it just a little bit it snaps that inside tube and then you shake it and it glows and it'll glow for like they say 12 hours but count on about eight hours of real glow and it comes with uh, a little hook at the top so you can hang it and the higher up you get it of course you know the more light you get so if you're in an elevator situation you can you can uh, use that and since uh, elevators tend to be Faraday cages you want something that doesn't rely on electricity so uh, I think this is a, a good way to go um, so that's that's what I recommend I mean you know you can adjust yours accordingly but all right hope this was helpful to someone <laughs>